A man who stalked his former girlfriend in the days leading up to her death has been jailed for two years. Ryan Day was arrested a month after Kamaljit Sidhu jumped to her death from a bridge over the M6 motorway. The judge said he had subjected her and her family to a sustained campaign of harassment. Giles Latcham has more. Kamaljit Sidhu, or Cam, kind, smiling and funny, say her family. She was the manager of a bar in Birmingham and began a relationship with a doorman there, Ryan Day. His controlling and abusive behaviour led her to break up with him, but he continued to stalk and harass her right up to the night of her death. We really miss her. Her death has left a big hole in our lives. Does Ryan Day really realise the damage he has inflicted on my beloved Cam? BBC WM 95.6 Travel Early one morning last October, traffic on the M6 was brought to a standstill. Because of that police incident from a little bit earlier this morning. That police incident was a young woman jumping to her death from this bridge onto the motorway below. In despair, Kamaljit Sidhu had reached the end of her tether. Ryan Day had hacked her Facebook account and stolen her phone. He'd turn up outside her home at three in the morning. For months, he harassed and stalked her, obsessively jealous when she went out to see friends. You do nothing but show me hate, she messaged him, and later, you terrify me. Day pleaded guilty to stalking and was sentenced to two years. Not enough, say her family. We want the world to know this can never be allowed to happen again. I do not want anyone else to go through what we have. Our lives have stopped and we can't breathe. Cam never reported the stalking or harassment to the police. We've made some great strides since the law was changed in November 2012, um, making stalking a criminal offence for the first time. But we're still finding victims are coming to us on the, help, on the helpline saying that they've reported to the police or they've told somebody else and they haven't really had their, their case taken seriously. The night of her death, in another Facebook post, Cam wrote, Trust me, I will get through this. Within hours, though, she was dead. Her final message to her family, I love you all, I just got weak, sorry. Giles Latch and BBC Midlands Today, Great Bar.